Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 6. I'm Rick Chin. And I'm Kareem Winter. Here and around the country, people are gathering to honor and remember loved ones killed by violence. It's a National Day of Remembrance for Murder Victims. And it's also an attempt at healing that includes a local family of a man senselessly shot and killed aboard a hijacked bus. Rachel Menatoff joins us live from Baldwin Park, where she spoke with the victim's family. Rachel. Rick Kareen, this isn't a group that anyone wants to be a part of, but gatherings like this one provide an opportunity to honor victims of violence by sharing their stories and reflecting on the love they left behind. One of LA's most recent victims of homicide is Anthony Rivera. He was on a Metro bus this week that was hijacked and he was shot multiple times. His mom courageously spoke with us today. Listen to what she says about her son. He was my right hand. And to me, he'll always be in my right hand. I just sit there and, and talk to him and tell him what I did for the day. Rivera was 48 years old. He was coming home from work early Wednesday morning on his regular Metro bus. In fact, he was almost home when a man identified as 51 year old Lamont Campbell allegedly got into an argument with the driver and hijacked the bus in South LA. He held the driver Rivera and another passenger at gunpoint and led police on a low speed pursuit that ended in downtown LA. The driver was able to stay calm and push the panic button to alert police to what was happening. Once LAPD officers gained access to the bus, they found Rivera with multiple gunshot wounds. The driver and the other passenger survived. Rivera's friends and family are now demanding meaningful change from Metro. So who is safe on public transit? And you know, I admire the fact that public transit protects their drivers. And I'm glad that they do have that safety in place. But the passengers, what are we going to do about this? What change is going to come from this? Because we expect change. And Campbell is now in custody and a case against him will be sent over to the DA's office on Monday. We're live in Baldwin Park tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Rick Kareen, back to you in studio.